Now, the organizers of the crowdfunded Build the Wall campaign have hit another snag. Uh, now, officials have apparently ordered, according to Buzz, uh, BuzzFeed News, a privately funded section of the wall on the U.S.-Mexico border to keep its gate open indefinitely. Which, of course, that would hold, defeat the whole purpose of a wall. Then again, you could just go around it because it's not that big. <laughs> Just go around the wall. But you don't even have to do that because the gate is still wide open. Now, apparently, this is over a failure to obtain required permits. Because, of course. Uh, now, BuzzFeed reports, The International Boundary and Water Commission, which oversees waterway issues between the U.S. and Mexico, said the organizers of We Build the Wall, which raised more than $23 million, a tiny, tiny, tiny infinitesimal fraction of what it would need to actually build an entire border wall, not to mention you would need to use both private and public land, which they have not gotten uh, permission to use, had not obtained permission to build on this stretch of land. Of course. Permission? What, what, what kind of communism is this? I don't need no permission. Well, it turns out, nope, you actually do need permission. You can't just start building stuff on other people's land. You can't do that. Now, the half-mile barrier on the border near Sunland Park, New Mexico, restricts access to a public monument and waterways, according to the IBWC. It turns out you cannot block federal waterways uh, in a public monument. You'd think they would have known this, but again, these are, <laughs> these are people that are trying to build a border wall. They're not very smart. They think a border wall is going to keep out undocumented immigrants. Newsflash. Most of the undocumented immigrants in this country overstayed their visas. Oops. Can't put a wall around that. But anyway, um, <laughs> again, federal land, that's our land uh, as taxpayers, of course. It's owned by the taxpayers, operated by the government, and you as an individual can't just build whatever you want when you want without getting it some sort of approval. It doesn't work like that. And again, Mr. Colfage, Brian Colfage, who started this project, did not get any of that approval. In fact, uh, this is IBWC spokesperson Lori Kuzmanski uh, telling BuzzFeed News, quote, they think they could build now and ask questions later. That's not how it works. Which is obvious. I mean, look, this is right-wing privilege in action. They think they can do whatever they want without any recourse. It's a lies, the, the, the laws don't apply to them at all. I mean, again, what they're trying to do, their whole goal is to build a wall that will bar asylum seekers from coming over the border. That actually should also be unlawful. That is unlawful. That's more unlawful than overstaying your visa. Why? Because barring asylum seekers is against international law. And it's worse because it puts people's lives in jeopardy. But again, white right-wingers don't care about the law. This is a side that pointed weapons at police officers. No, but the big irony about that, of course, is that the Bundy clan, the ones who actually pointed weapons at police officers when they tried to take over a bird refuge, they actually agree with the asylum seekers and say, yes, they should be able to come into the country. There's some irony for you. Uh, now, of course, Colfage is not happy about this, uh, and he has accused the IBWC of overstepping DHS and national security experts by keeping that gate open. Uh, who are you, dude? In a statement to The Hill, Colfage wrote that BuzzFeed writes lies. Fun. I would not cite anything to report. The issue is about to be fully resolved in our favor. Sure, Brian. Uh, Kuzmanski said the agency had been told the project would be restricted to private land, which, look, if somebody gives you permission to build on private land, well, then there's nothing you can do, right? Uh, as a federal government, that's private property. And so if you say, yes, I want you to build a big section of steel slats or a wall on my land, perfectly fine, right? We got no problem with that. I mean, other than it's incredibly stupid, but yeah, go ahead. Now, the problem with the wall is that if you've got somebody uh, in there that has private land that says, no way in hell are you building a wall on my land. 
Well, then doesn't that defeat the whole purpose of a wall? If you have giant gaps in it? It, it makes no sense. Something tells me they didn't think this through. But getting back to the permits here, uh, Kuzmansky, uh, as I said before, said the project would be restricted to private land before organizers submitted a letter with, quote, a couple of drawings requesting permission to build the gate across federal property. So they just drew a couple of pictures and said, we want to build that. Can you give us the author authorization? Isn't that not hilariously stupid? <laughs> I mean, they even said, it, this was not a complete application packet. It was a couple of ridiculous drawings. And yet, they turn it in and they say, okay, we're good. We're good. Without authorization, uh, a construction crew had poured a cement slab on federal land and had shut the gate upon completion. In which Kuzmensky said, quote, you don't just come into our property and build first. <laughs> and now they, of course, prop that gate open until, I don't know, maybe they get the proper authorization. I don't know. But here's the thing, right? Imagine if this was a left-wing group that instead of building a wall, maybe wanted to build a memorial for victims of police shootings on federal land. Now, for one, of course, they'd never just come in and start building it. And if they did, very likely they'd get punished immediately and harshly. I mean, uh, look at the difference between barring uh, asylum seekers, right, from entrance into the country. Again, asylum seekers have a legal right under international law to be present on U.S. soil, either on U.S. soil or at a port of entry in order to claim asylum. If you were barring that, then that would mean that you were against that you're breaking international law, right? Now, you do that, not punish at all. In fact, you run a militia that points weapons at people. No punishment, right? But you give food and water to asylum seekers, and you face 20 years. There was a recent case where somebody who left out food and water for these asylum seekers, and they tried to put him in prison for 20 years. And the only reason that he did not go to prison is because the jury was like, no, dude, I don't think that's a crime at all. But hey, you want to build a wall? You just need to come back with some proper paperwork. This is right-wing privilege. Amazing. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the... YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.